I want to see the performance uh, by month and year. So I want to see uh, what hierarchy here, right? As a month. So I'll go to the calendar table, calendar table expand. Then you have a calendar table, you have a date, you have a year. I will move month into the row section. Look at this. Do you see the plus sign now? Uh, what does this mean? It is helping me to show the performance in this one. It's a very big number. So what I will do, I will try to expand the size here. Now, this is something like not very much clear. So I want to show this properly, right? The January, February, that's okay. That's correct. But I, I'm not able to, as of now, uh, expand this. Uh, here you go. Look at this. I was trying to expand this one. But this is okay. This is fine. But I want to show some more things here, right? So how we have created this, Jan, Feb, March, and so on. But they both are in a same column. I want to see this in a separate column. So just I'll go to the format visual. Where I am, I am in a format visual. I will select this part and I'll go to the format visual. I will search here one keyword, step. -step. I will search here one keyword, step, 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 step layout. Do you know like step layout? We, we go to the stairs. It's a step layout. The step layout is on. I want this to be off. Okay, where it is. So step step. And then make sure it's a off. So you have a proper year and month. Now look at this. It looks better now. So you have a year 2012, you have a 13, then you have a 14, and so on. Okay. Clear this, everyone. How we have created this view. Just make sure it's a properly sorted. So you have a Gen Web March and so on, and this one. So size looks a little bigger. So what I will do, I will go to the uh, format. So which which option should I select to reduce the size? It's a global font. Very nice. You remember this all this part. I'm really happy. So to see this one. So global font size is 20. So definitely make a little less. 15 is okay. 15 is enough. Now this is not that bigger. So because we have a big data. Now in the previous example, it was only three rows four rows but now we have so many so we definitely have to put it in a proper format okay so i'm going to show you one advanced formula so you have a 12 2012 january performance please make sure it is sorted it is properly sorted so you can use this sorting button and then you can make it like jan to december and 12 to this one now there's a new requirement you want to compare your jan performance for 2013 with the gen performance of 2012 so you want this information in this particular column i'm trying to compare okay i did the sales of 1 lakh 20 uh, uh 1000 like 1 lakh 21000 so what was my sales in the last year it was 89000 right so i want to see this information here i want to see this information here right so the the name of the concept is same period last year what is the concept name same period last year. Everyone clear with this? What are we are looking? What we are looking here? <clears throat> yes or no? Okay. So I will give the name of this sheet as a same period last year. Same period last year. Okay. Pay attention on the screen, everyone. I'll go to the new major. Oh, sorry, all major uh, table, and then I'll click on the new major. So everyone, uh, pay attention on the screen. Very interesting example. So I'll say here, okay, dollar S P L Y. Same period last year. You can give any name. That's absolutely fine. I'm doing, I want to do a conditional calculation here. So I'll do calculation conditional. Okay. So this column, this column is nothing but my, my net cell, right? This column is nothing but my net cell. So I will pass the net cell here. So what is my net cell? What is my expression? Expression is my net cell. Comma. Filter. I want to do a filter. So this time, I want to do a filter of a last year, right? Same period last year. So you don't have to, you know, like uh, uh, do a lot of complex calculation here. Very simple. You just need to write a formula, same period last year. Now, in the same period last year, if I go to this formula, look at this. In the same period last year, what is the argument? Argument is asking me for the date. Okay. So, which column should I pass here for the dates? Which column is something like which we have created for our time intelligence? And that column is going to help me uh, without any missing dates. Any guess? We have created a calendar table. In this, we have a date column. In the calendar table, we have a date column, right? 
So this formula is very powerful. You can pass this date column, and as we are targeting to the year, the formula will automatically pick year from this column, right? You don't have to worry about it. So I will just pass here as a calendar date, and I will close the bracket. Simple. I will open this one and close the bracket. Now in the date, in this date column, you have a four information. You have a year, month, quarter, and day. The formula is the same period last year, so automatically date will year will be passed here. Okay. And now hit enter. Pay attention on the screen now for the next two minutes. I will definitely give you time. So now after this, I will select this. I will follow the best practice. I will select this measure, and first of all, I will make it is a accounting format with zero decimal. This looks easy and readable. So it's always I follow, and I I also uh, say to all of you to follow this one. Now we have a net sales, and then I will pass this information here. Look at this. So you are trying to compare current year performance with the same period last year. So 121 last year it was 89,000. So I'm really doing good here. If I go to 2014, 180 is the current year. 2014 last year it was 121, and this will keep continue. This will keep continue. Interesting formula, yes or no, everyone? The calculate how the conditional calculation you are doing here. And you're trying to follow the this information same period last year. Very easy, very simple. See, you just have to pass the net cell formula and the filtering information. That's it. You are done. 